What do you hear? What do you say? This is Vertigo bringing you another video and today I'm going to give you guys 10 tips on how to be a better pirate. Number 10. Move the sails. Now this is probably very well known but I do see this quite a lot playing with randoms and I just thought it'd be worth putting on the list because not everybody knows. You can move the sails left to right to capture the wind. Now, a lot of people just leave the sails in the default position. That is not the best way to move around in Sea of Thieves. You want to use the wind as much as possible, not just to get from A to B, but also to get away from anyone that's trying to kill you. So be sure to look above you, see which way the wind's blowing and move the sails accordingly. It'll boost your speed right away in those much needed moments. Number nine, the anchor isn't just for stopping. The difference between a good captain and a great captain in Sea of Thieves is how you move and maneuver your ship. Whether you're on the run and need to make a quick turn or you need to maneuver between two rocks that are just in the way of you getting the perfect spot to get off your ship, the anchor is your best friend. Just move the wheel in the direction that you want to turn, drop the anchor, and watch the ship make some ridiculous turns that could potentially save you and your crew and also get you closer to the island where you need to be. This little trick is pretty basic, but has got me out of a lot of jams and a lot of situations. It's one of the best tricks you can use. Number eight, center your ship. Another simple trick that not everybody knows is that the steering wheel on the ships have a gold handle. That gold handle is the wheel's center point. So if you're leaving the wheel for a moment and realizing you're veering off course, it's because you haven't got the wheel lined up center. The game also makes it easier for you because not only is the handle gold, but once you reach the center point, you will hear a click, letting you know that you are indeed going dead ahead. So stop veering off and make sure you center your ship every time you plan to leave the wheel. Number seven, lunging speed. This cool little trick, I'm not sure whether or not it's going to be around in the official game when it releases, but as of the beta, it is still in the game and comes in quite handy. Have you ever been in a situation where the ship is stopped a little bit too far away from the island and it takes a long ass time to swim back to it? Well then just take out your sword, hold left click and let the lunging attack charge up. As it's charging, move into the water and let the lunge lunge you all the way to your ship at supersonic speed. As I said, I'm not sure if this trick's gonna be in the game officially, but right now it is super handy if you need to get back to your ship in a rush. Number six, counting paces. This trick is really simple, but I only just found out about it just today. When I was going to islands to look for buried treasure, I was always manually counting my steps, counting my paces. I'd get out my compass, look at the direction I'm facing, and just tap W, the amount of times needed. The problem with that is I was not always correct in my estimates. I would have to backtrack a little bit, count again, and just, it, it was not really effective. But the game does have a way for you to count paces accurately. All you need to do is get out your compass, hold down left click if you're on PC. If you're on Xbox, I'm not sure what button it is, but whatever button it, it, it is to, you know, raise the compass up to your face and just hold down forward. So it's as easy as just listening to your footsteps and counting the number to hit the exact spot where the buried treasure is. Number five, checking your map. Checking your map is essential in the game. It's gonna be something that you're doing all the time. Sometimes your crewmates will be too busy to check the map or maybe you're playing solo and just don't have anyone to do it for you. Instead of walking all the way down to the map to have a look, both the solo, duo, and galley ships all have ways to check the map much easier than going all the way down to the lower deck. In the solo and duo ship, just behind the wheel, you can look right down onto the map with ease. The galley also has a spot where you can see the map without going to the lower deck, but it is obscured a little bit, but it is there for you to look at if you need to do it. Knowing this is going to save you a lot of time. As I said, time in this game as a sailor and a captain is essential. Everything you do could be the difference between your ship sinking and not sinking. So being able to look behind you at the map or just going down a couple steps is going to save you time. 
You can now look at the map with ease. Number four, going dark. Now this little trick was in one of my episodes, I believe, and it's a very useful trick that I know for a fact not everyone uses. When that sun goes down, it becomes extremely easy to spot out other ships. Most of the time, they'll be lit up like a Christmas tree. You can just look over your telescope and spot them right away. So on my ship, I find it essential that when night hits, to turn off all the lanterns so you can't be spotted as easily. But not only is it a defensive maneuver, it can also be used as an attack maneuver by being able to sneak up on your enemy without them really knowing you're there. So all around, it's a bad idea just to have the lights on in general. So yeah, turn off your lanterns at night. Number three, the Northern Star. Speaking of night, this is a cute little uh, tip and trick that isn't really useful, but it's good to know because maybe in the future when the game develops a little bit more, uh, maybe this will be a much more useful tip. But you can tell which way is north without using a compass. At night time, just simply look up in the sky and look for the brightest star that you can see. That is north. I'm hoping that eventually compasses can get damaged, maybe uh, lost, and this will come in very handy. At the moment, it's just a cool little fact, um, but you never know. Maybe eventually it's going to be more useful, but it is there in the game. You can find which way is north without using a compass. Number two, let the captain see. One of the biggest problems with Sea of Thieves is lack of communication. Especially if you're queuing up solo, it is very difficult to find people that actually speak to you. So if you're captain and you're steering the wheel and you don't have people around you that are speaking, you could run into a rock, run into an island, or maybe even run into an enemy ship. So if you don't have a crew that speaks to you, just simply raise the sail. Raising it about halfway is going to give you a little bit of vision. It's not going to give you full vision, but it's going to give you enough that you can move around rocks and just be overall a better captain when people refuse to speak which by the way in 2018 come on you haven't got a mic in 2018 i'm not gonna i'm not gonna rant but it's 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 bloody annoying number one get some friends this is a pretty obvious tip of course but i had to put it on here especially for the back of that last tip you have to bring friends into this game yes in certain circumstances you can have fun with randoms and even solo you can have a little bit of fun even though solo is much more difficult and uh, I wouldn't recommend it but you know sometimes you have to do that but if you can definitely play this game with friends because communication is the most important thing to become the best pirate in all the seas you could be the best captain ever you could line up your ship perfectly against enemies you could maneuver perfectly and just be flawless but if you have a shitty crew that is not speaking to you it is almost pointless so the number one tip no doubt to become a better captain and a better pirate is to find some friends that have microphones and play with them because if you have clear communication not only is the experience going to be more fun it's going to be much much more successful and that does it for my top 10 tips and tricks for Sea of Thieves. There's a lot of basic stuff in here. Uh, this is mainly just beta stuff. I'm sure when the full game comes out, there's going to be a lot more tricks and stuff that you can do. I even had more that I could have put on this list, but I wanted to keep it to 10. And I wanted to keep it more simple because I know a lot of people are going to be playing this game in a couple months who are brand new and never played it. And this is going to help them a little bit just to give them a kickstart and know what the hell they're doing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down below. And you will be seeing me on the seas once again, I promise you. I will be back. But until then, this is Vertigo, and may the Force be with you always.